What's up, YouTubers? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Today's video is all about this warm up exercise that I do every time that I pick up the guitar. Now, let's be clear this isn't a life changing or incredibly difficult exercise. But what this is, is a pretty simple pass that you can implement every day at the beginning of your practice session that over time, right, when focusing on clean picking, alternate picking, playing with no reverb, having no excess noise in your playing, will all add up and make you a better player and a more confident player when it comes to playing overall, right? So it's more of a maintenance workout. So with all that being said, let's dive into today's video. Cool. So today's video was all about that. That is this little scale descending run that I do every time I pick up the guitar. And it's kind of like a tongue twister in a sense that you're going descending, ascending, descending, and then resolving back home with the root. Right? Pretty cool. So now let's dive into the real lesson. <laughs> so for the lesson part of today's video, let's stick to the key of G major. And before we dive into the tongue twister, a couple things that I really want to stress when doing warm ups and just practicing in general. The first thing, and it's, I think it's pretty obvious in the sound, no reverb. Right, a really dry sound. What the no reverb does is it doesn't add a cloud around the note. It makes it really in your face. So if you mess up, which is perfectly fine, there's nothing wrong with that. You hear it and then you can restart and focus on that same area, right? The second thing I really want to stress is the right hand, right? Being conscious of muting the notes and not having any excess noise around you. Because if you can have no excess noise with no reverb, when you add reverb later, you'll be golden. You'll be shredding super clean. The third thing, and maybe the most important, is slow and steady always wins the race with this kind of stuff, right? In the very beginning, you should play it as slowly as you want. Making sure every note is clean and articulate. No excess noise at all. Then you can slowly speed up. Right. 
in the long run, these small details with no reverb, right? Picking cleanly with your right hand and no excess noise and being in control slowly and slowly building up speed is a great foundation. So with that being said, let's dive into the tongue twister. <laughs> so like mentioned before, this little workout is predominantly using the notes from the G major scale. Right, but we're also hinting pretty quickly this F natural, this flat seven degree, right? But then when we get back to the very beginning, we do F sharp G. So let's break it down into several groups. Could be a little easier. So group one, we could say is this. Right? Root nine, that A, root E, F natural, right? To this D, F natural, E, second fret of the D string, D, B, C, right? That'll be our second grouping. A little slower. Then we go to this A. F sharp. G. Right? One more time, a little slower. And a very important thing when playing this, right? Is you want to really focus on the alternate picking, right? Up, down. So let's do a quick angle change so you can see my picking hand. Right? Up, down, up, down. Right? All about keeping your right hand as really loose 
and with no stress as possible. And also, I don't really use the anchor like some people do. It's comfortable, but I feel like it gives me a little limitations. So I just keep my wrist kind of like that, like a fist. Right hand technique is crucial, guys. No excess noise on the right hand. No reverb makes that excess noise come out right in your face. And that's what you want. If you make excess noise, you want to hear it. So with no reverb, you're really focused. Right there, excess noise. Even there again, excess noise. Keep practicing. So when you're practicing, right, you can start if you want in the key of G. And then when you go to the key of A, you start on the ninth degree, this B. And so on. When you're in the key of B, you start on the C sharp. fretboard as fast as you want as slow as you want just make sure you're relaxed and you're not making any more excess noise than you should well all right guys that's today's video if you enjoyed it please press like comment and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one